thrips are a small insect. They're native to Tasmania, and they were recently detected on Oahu just last November. These thrips are invasive and they attack our native Nile plants, which are an important part of our coastal ecosystems. What the thrips do is they attack the ends of the plants, the new leaf growth. They suck out the healthy tissue and the plant reacts by curling and galling its leaves. Eventually the plant will be in completely infested with these thrips and because they have no predators here in Hawaii, they absolutely swarm the plant and eventually will kill the plant. Our crew today is taking out this infested Nile plant. This plant is actually providing a harbor for Nile thrips to move across the island. And in order to prevent the Nile thrips from spreading to wild populations of Nile, our crew is clipping off the infested ends and they are going to remove the entire plant and then transport it to H power to be burned. The first time Nile thrips were detected in Hawaii was on Big Island in 2009 and we believe they were accidentally introduced from California. Uh, California had seen some problems with a different myoporum species, another Nile plant that they had, and their landscape plants were getting decimated by this Nile thrips. When it showed up on Big Island, uh, they tried to do some containment, but it spread so quickly and it caused such devastation that now in areas that were once dominated by Nile plants, they have a hard time finding just 10 healthy plants. They were likely introduced through infested landscaping material. Um, Nio and other myoporum species are popular landscaping plants. And so the priority for OISC is to remove all infested Lyo plants and then also target non-infested landscaping plants. What we would wanna do is protect our wild Nile populations on the Ka'iwi coastline, Kaena Point, and the Kaleloa National Wildlife Reserve because Nile provides healthy habitat for things like our nesting shearwaters and albatross, our native bees, and also our native forest birds uh, like the amakihi. One of the unfortunate things is that uh, organic and pesticide methods don't really work for prevention or treatment of Nile thrips. We have not had success the best prevention and treatment that we can do is removal of infested Nile plants and also removal of uninfested plants. And so what people can do is first don't plant any more Nile because that will create a harbor for the thrips. Remove any infested Nile and report infested Nile plants to OISC. Oahu Invasive Species Committee, we target invasive plants and animals that are not widespread yet. So we don't really work on things like rats and mosquitoes. Um, those are well beyond our resources right now. What we do is we target invasive plants and animals that would cause the most harm, but are still within our resources to target for eradication. You can contact us several ways. You can call our office at 808-266-7994. You can email us at oisk at hawaii.edu, or you can take a photo and text it to 808-286-4616. And you can also visit our website at oahuisk.org anytime.